it's so inconsistent with the way that like I'll take I'll be like okay let me take the picture of my insurance or whatever and the button won't work like 90% of the time and then I finally take a picture it gets accepted I get Uber Eats and then I say I want to do Uber Driver it resets my whole thing it makes me take the profile picture again makes me submit the insurance for the same car again and then it goes oh your insurance was rejected this time like what the fuck I've just had, I've had so many issues with Uber and Uber driver, and my car has a recall on it. It's a Toyota Camry. It's a recall. It's not even a big deal. This recall is the, like the most minor recall in existence. And they're like, no, you can't have your car be a Turo, even if I fix it. They, they literally won't let me like, the fuck is wrong with these people, bro? Like, I'm literally trying to hand you money. I'm trying to make you richer, and you're denying it. I'd be the best Uber driver, honestly. Like, I already drive people around so much. Everyone says I make a good Uber driver. Everyone says I'm the best driver. Everyone trusts me to drive their car when they don't trust anyone else. Like, I'll be like with, like, five people, right? And they all have their own cars, and we'll all, we're all at some place. And they'll be like, okay, whose car are we going to take? And we'll all go out to, like, drink or whatever, but I don't drink because I just don't. And everybody else is going to get drunk, so I'm basically designated driver. I'm always designated driver. And so they're asking whose car are we going to take, but they know I'm the one driving. Like, that's already decided. And, you know, whenever I talk to these guys, they'll be in the passenger seat. The owner of the car will be in the passenger seat. There'll be everybody else in the back seat's all crammed together. And then they'll be like, yeah, I wouldn't let these guys in the back ever drive my car, even when they're sober or anything like that. It's literally only you that I would let drive my car. And everybody says this. Like, people trust nobody to drive their car except themselves and me. Just me. I'm also a beast at being super gas efficient. You know, when people talk about like, oh, I'm good at driving, there's a lot of different meanings to being good at driving. You can be good at racing. You can be good at like, like, this is, um, you can be good at weaving in and out of traffic. You can be good at getting to a destination quickly. You can be good at knowing how to get to places. You can be, I'm good at a lot of things, but a, a lot of the skills that make, that can make what people consider to be a good driver a lot of people ignore, like driving incredibly smoothly, driving in a way where if someone is sleeping in the passenger seat, you don't wake them up, you know, that sort of thing. It's like the, it's like the whole, like, talk to me, like, uh, uh, what's it called? When he's drifting, uh, in, in his dad's, uh, tofu, tofu delivery car and all the tofu in the back seats gets all like spilled everywhere. And so his dad puts the, uh, cup of water in the, uh, open, open container of water inside the cup holder. And he's like, if a drop of it spills, I'm beating your ass. And so he's slow at first, and he doesn't feel so many drops. And then he goes faster and faster, and eventually he gets good enough to drift while no drops of water spill out of the car. And that's what I've been able to do. I'm able to go fast and get to my destination quickly, but very, very smoothly. I like, I plan super far ahead. I let off the gas super early. I keep a really respectable distance. I haven't gotten in a crash in forever. Um, and I'm super good on gas because I always, you know, speed up a bit on the downhills, slow down on the uphills. Like, I really, really think about these things. And I've got, I've developed a real intuition for this sort of thing. It was because I was driving manual is why I was able to do it. But yeah, it's like, I'm, I'm literally in, in ways that people would not expect. I'm a really, really good driver. I could drive backwards super easily too. And it just, I make a good Uber. That's what I'm trying to say. I keep hella cables in my car. I keep two triple chargers where like the cables can charge like, it's like a cable that splits off into three cables and it has like one USB-C on it, one lightning on it and one micro USB. And you could charge all three at the same time. And I have two of those, one for the front, one for the back. So I have six cables in the car. That's just a start. Then I have a separate USB for my phone. Then I have a wireless charger in the front. And then I have an aux. I have Bluetooth for my phone and then I have aux and the aux, uh, uh, has two adapters. I have aux, so if people have aux, then which most people don't, but sometimes people, you know, bring their laptops or whatever, they got aux. But then I have two ad aux adapters, one for iPhone, one for Android. I also keep two umbrellas in my car. So I would literally, I even wanted to be like, okay, I'm gonna be out here uh, driving Uber when it's raining because nobody else wants to drive, right? But I'm gonna be doing it. So I'm gonna get all the, all the customers. I can make so much money doing Uber. I even had some ideas um, 
uh, I don't like to, well, fuck it, whatever. It's not like I'm going to do it now. Uber's, like, literally being such a piece of shit. I'm, I'm not going to do it, so I might as well just, I'll put this in free ideas, actually. Let me, let me make a note of, the, actually, no, fuck it, I'll remember. I'll probably have to go back through this stream anyways. But, um, the idea was, like, okay, if I'm doing Uber Eats, first of all, I found a way to exploit it. I found multiple ways. Legit, you can eat free meals if you call the person. Like, okay, there's this thing where, like, if you can't find the person, right, uh, that you're delivering to, and they say, like, oh, deliver to me or whatever, and you, you have a tough time contacting them, if you call them and eight minutes goes by, then you get to keep the food and keep the money. And you don't, and you dispose of the food, basically. And uh, you could dispose of it however you feel like, which includes eating it, which is like unspoken. Then I can tell you, you could eat it. But yeah, that you can do that, basically. However, there is a way where it's like, you can call them. And if a minute goes by, then you can contact support. And if you show, like, and who's gonna, if, if they don't pick up, who's gonna call back, like, in that very short time frame of 60 seconds, right? It might take, they might, they might be in the bathroom or something like that, you know? Um, they might be like on the phone with somebody else or something. And so say you can't find them, call them. If they don't answer, wait literally 60 seconds, then hit the contact support button and say you can't find them. And then there's, there's an option to like basically not deliver. All it takes is one minute and you can keep the money and the food. And you could probably do this consistently, honestly. You could probably get free meals all day doing this. And also you can exploit like the obvious way, like using fake cards, because fake cards can exploit anything. And then you, you use fake cards, you use burner accounts, which there's there's actually Discord servers that sell burner accounts for um, Uber, like Uber Eats uh, uh, accounts. Um, and a lot of times they'll actually have account balances on them. And um, what you can do is you can buy these accounts or you can put fake cards in burner accounts, uh, buy the food that you want to buy, have it delivered to some place, uh, and you can be very close to that restaurant that it's ordered from, right as it's ordered, so that way you get the order, um, like, for, for you. You get to keep the money, you get to keep the, the tips through the food, and you could spam yourself with tips, you can give yourself some really good tips through it. And then you could say you deliver it to, delivered it to wherever they delivered, and these guys don't do investigations, but if they're gonna do any investigations, they're going to look for whoever ordered the food. They're not gonna be looking for the delivery driver. You could say, oh, I delivered it at this um, um, hotel with, in this hotel room or something like that, right? And, uh, uh, or I delivered it at, at this place and I delivered it at the front desk and it'll have a lot of people in there so that way they won't be able to pin down exactly who did it. And you basically just don't even go in there and deliver it. What the hell is the, like a month goes by in worst case scenario, worst case scenario, a month goes by, two months go by, and somebody might give a call to the person working, uh, or the person that like the person who owns the hotel and be like, hey, who was working at this time on this day in this location? Um, can we ask them if they remember this person coming in and uh, getting the food? Not They're not gonna ask by delivery driver. They're gonna ask who they gave the food to. And it's like, hotels get Uber Eats all the time. How the hell are they going to remember? And, and worst case scenario, honestly, these owners are going to be like, uh, I, I don't even know who was working that day. They're not going to go through that hassle. That's what's going to happen. But yeah, there's, uh, okay, and I should say, like, I don't condone any illegal activity. Let me just get that out of the way. But yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool way to keep free food. And also, like, listing your car up on Turo. Dude, honestly, if I had the, like, full freedom to just do these things, I could be making, like, a thousand, two thousand dollars a month just from my car, and I'd still be able to use my car to its fullest. It's a Camry. It's so reliable. But the real money is not in this one thousand, two thousand dollars. It's not in Uber Eats or Turo. It's in the Uber driver. It's in the rideshare business. First of all, my idea was... Um, this is one of my better ideas actually because this is something that's like super applicable that like basically anybody, well almost anybody could do. So it was like, if people come to my car and they're like, cool, I'll tell them. Um, but only if they're like with the shit, I'll tell them like, hey, yo, instead of using Uber, how about you cancel the ride and send me the money directly to my cash app? Uh, that way you can get a discount and not pay for the Uber fee. And I get more, I get 
the, like more money for myself. So we like ha have some meeting like in agreement, like in the middle of the uh, uh, whatever fee they throw on top of it, right? So if it's like a 30% fee that Uber takes, I'll charge them 15% less and I'll keep 15% more and Uber won't get shit. Uh, also, you can ask people, this is not just about money. This is not just about, this is about value. You can ask people what music they listen to whenever they're in the car and uh, you get hella new musical perspectives from like everyone. Ask them questions like, oh, what was the last song you heard that you considered to be a 10 out of 10? What was the last like song that you heard that really made you feel something deep? What's a song that's a guilty pleasure to you? What's a song you grew up listening to that you really, really like? What's an underrated song? What's a super unique song that you heard recently? Like that sort of thing, right? You ask these questions and you really dig deep and people won't just give these like surface level safe songs that they play on the aux just for mass appeal and to make sure that nobody actually hates the songs that they play. No, they're going to like go all out and try to show you their, their like deeper, deeper level of musical taste, right? And that's great. That's great. You're, this is not just about money. If you're driving Uber, you stand to gain so much just value out of this, just value in general. And also, I live in Atlanta, so, uh, well, there's a few advantages. One is there's hella travelers in Atlanta, so I would get way, way more perspectives, you know, driving people from the airport, because the Atlanta airport is the busiest airport in the world. There's hella connecting flights through there, a lot of trafficking and stuff like that, but <clears throat> regardless of whatever the case is, it's the busiest airport in the world, and you get paid a lot for dropping people off on, like, into the airport picking people up from the airport and I know the airport inside and out dude I know everything about it I know how to navigate around it with no directions I know all of that so yeah my plan was do that go to Atlanta drive around the airport a lot uh, uh, and also in, in Atlanta it's still illegal to smoke weed or even to have weed um, which is like it's so weird Atlanta how the, that's crazy but people can't just go to like a dispensary and buy, I mean, now you can buy Delta 8s, but that's nothing, you know? Um, so if people need a plug, like if they're cool and they need a plug, I'd tell them like, I, I'd have a plug. First of all, I'd talk to a plug and I'd make an agreement with them. And then I'd tell the person riding in my car, I'd be like, hey, yo, you need a plug? Here, text this number, text this guy, and be like, a fraud's told me to message you. And that way, my plug gets confirmation of my referral and I can use that as proof, right? Or I can set up some like some like QR code or something like that. And then the deal would be like whenever I refer somebody to the plug, because they'd probably be like a good one, they'd probably get re uh, repeat customers. They'd give me like 50 bucks, ca 50 bucks cash app, every referral I give them. And if I'm referring like, if I'm at the airport, I'm referring like five people a day. Boom, that's an extra $250 a day. Just like that. Which is like, it's not like a super crazy high amount, but it's way better than nothing. Also, I tell people like I do photography and videography. I'd share my social media with them. I'd probably, what i do is I'd have like a laminated paper or something in front of like each of the seats, like one in front, like stuck to the back of each uh, uh, front seat so that way the people in the back can see it. And then one on the dashboard and it would have like all my social medias on there, my QR codes. And it would say all this shit. It would say like, it would say stuff like, oh, if you're, if you're, uh, you know, talkative and you want to talk, then just let me know. And if you, if you're the silent type and you don't want to talk, then uh, you don't got to say anything. I'm flexible either way. You want to play music? Here's Ox. I got it for whatever phone you got. Uh, you want to change like the temperature or whatever? That's totally up to you. You change it to whatever you want to change. Like I'd be super accommodating. And I'd put on there like, you need a plug? Let me know. I got you. I'd like put all that, all that on there. I'd grow my social media. I'd tell people about what I do. I'd share my socials with them. I'd get more of a following like that, meeting hella new people, getting connects. Really, the, the value of this sort of thing is the connects. Drive through LA, or not drive through, just whenever, if, if anyone goes to LA or, or, or a city like that, don't drive. Just Uber everywhere. And watch the kind of connects you make if you just start to talk to the drivers. Like, FaZe was, um, I told him about this, and then he went to LA with Sham, and then he was like, um, he came back and he's like, bro, I met the, like, Lady Gaga's original producer who made, like, Poker poker Face and all that stuff. When we, we went, we met people who worked with, like, Lil Yachty and things like that, 
like me and Faraz, and like we met like crazy, crazy, like big shot industry people, you know, or people that knew people. Like you're always going to find somebody that knows somebody that has some sort of skills. You're looking to make connections, drive Uber. But yeah, that would, uh, also the plug that I was talking about, he goes around driving to a lot of people. I would also be able to make some money. At, like I talked about it and he'd be like, yeah, I'm so down to literally just pay you for the day where I drive him around hella, um, for like a couple hours and just go from house to house. And it looks a lot less suspicious when, you know, you got people coming in and out of your car with an Uber sticker on your car, you know, that's much less suspicious than just doing that with his car by himself. Honestly, I'd be great at Uber. I got so many ideas. I, there's some other things as well that I'm, I'm not like, it's it's all, all off the top of my head. If I think of it, I'll, I'll probably put it in um, my free ideas playlist and I'll link that in the description. But yeah, I'd make so much money if I got to drive Uber. And it'd be super fun too. I love driving. Like this is something I do already anyways. Everybody's like, hey, let, let's, let's go. You trying to give me a ride to Atlanta? I'm like, hell yeah, let's go. I don't even ask him. I don't even, I, oh, what are we going for? They're like, oh, we're going to pick up some drugs. Oh, okay, never mind. But it's like, I just, I just want, I, I want an excuse to drive. Every time, like, my parents would be like, oh, uh, can you go here and get this thing? Actually, no, never mind. I'll just order, I'll just order uh, from this restaurant instead of you picking it up. And I'll be like, no, 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 I can get it, I can get it. I just want excuses to drive, to just go around and listen to music and listen to podcasts and all that stuff. Like, I want an excuse to do this stuff. It's peaceful to me. It's, I can, I can think, you know, when I turn the music off, which I don't drive with music a lot of the time, I can establish some mindfulness, you know, I love, I, I just love driving and I love driving other people around. Uber is actually like my dream job. Honestly, Uber is legit my dream job. As crazy and as stupid as that might like sound, sound, but yeah. God damn, I'd be so good at Uber.